Hi, I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to another Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. For today's card, I'm going to be using the Lemon Zest Stamp Set. So I have here some removable label tape from Post-It. It has the stickiness of a Post-It note. I have my Whisper White card base here and I will be using my Many Marvelous markers to make citrus fruits. So this is one way of coloring your stamps to get uh, two colors or more on a image. So I'm using the side of my marker, not the tip, and I'm just covering it all. Sometimes I uh, do the breath of life and you can see that me bringing my stamp up to the camera made it out of focus. So anyway, it gets better here. So I am using um, a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, there was Lemon Lime Twist and Tranquil Tide is this uh, limey color one. I think that's my favorite. And then I did... Uh, I did two kind of in each and I'm just random stamping that's just a piece of copy paper underneath my um, my card there so that I don't get my nice new mat all icky um, okay so daffodil delight and oh gosh there are so many colors here I'll just I'll write them down on my blog okay <laughs> because I can't keep up. Okay, so there's two really ugly ones there. That was the Crush Curry and So Saffron. They didn't work. Um, they're dulling down my cheerful, fruity design. So, um, oh, this was uh, Tangerine Tango and Pumpkin Pie. I remember that one. So anyway, um, I did not like that So Saffron. So, so Saffron I, It's one of my favorite yellows. It just doesn't go with all these brightly colored um, fruits. Okay, so anyway, I'll, I'll show you how I fix that. So basically this is Daffodil Delight and I have stamped off my lemon once and then I have used the dauber to create a shadow. So this is a really good way of um, using the same ink but just different tones of it. And the daubers are quite handy and affordable. So um, I didn't buy the punch, which is ridiculous because this stamp set really needs that punch and it would have saved me a lot of time. For the amount of times that I've actually used this stamp, it, I should have bought the punch. Like, what was I thinking? Anyway, um, so I'm doing the same sort of thing with the uh, lemon slice I stamped off and then went around with the dauber. So this is a second way that you can um, get two tones of color on your... Um, stamps. So this was the pink grapefruit. I really like this. That's flirty flamingo stamped off and then daubed on. So look at me. I'm covering up that so saffron. I really like that soft pink. When you stamp off that flirty, flirty flamingo, say that two times, um, yeah it comes out a very soft pink but bright. So I'm going to save off that little um, extra. Uh, fruit wedge and now I'm going to start on the leaves so here um, I was doing really good and taking my stamp and scrub and scrubbing it and then I just got lazy like so I'm just stamping a second stamping on a piece of paper <laughs> and actually they turned out really nice so I'm going to save them for another project to be honest so yeah save your ink stretch your ink Okay, so Life Short is stamped with basic archival black and Live It With Zest is going on the lemon and here is the happy birthday. Mwah, look at error. Um, I, sometimes the stamps are mounted funny. I don't know why and my labels don't work, but it also could be user error, right? I'll admit that. <laughs> so dimensionals go on the back of my lemon and I've, I'm not even pressing it down because I don't know where this card is going yet. So um, yeah, fast fuse on the lemon wedge. And then I got the bright idea to put the happy birthday on the pink grapefruit wedge. And dimensionals um, going on back of that. 
and then I'm sort of just trying to figure out where the best placement is and that's not it there that's it <laughs> and so I'm happy with that so I'm going to take some glue dots and place them in and amongst the lemons I want the lemons to actually stand out so um, the placement that I have originally here doesn't isn't perfect so I will move it towards the end and you know that's pretty much um, it's a simple card but it took quite a while to it was fun because if you like stamping this is the card for you get out your inks and try to create different combos and it's fun okay so um, of course you're probably wondering why the wink of Stella hasn't come out well it did and I covered every last single fruit that was stamped on my card except for the focal points anyway that's my card for today thanks for joining me I'll talk to you soon bye Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.